Hi Sagittarius, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Sagittarius, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empat Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll all use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you right now. Big things are about to happen. In fact, you got the Four of Cups and you also have the Four of Wands. That's a synchronicity letting you know celebrations are on the way monumental moments, things that you've always wanted for quite some time. And right now, by being grounded, you're aligned with positivity and attract this prosperity in your life immediately. Why wait, right? And I'll give you an example. You could either wait for this to happen in the third dimension. In the third dimension, planet Earth, 3D realm, right? There's time and space. It takes forever to do anything. Or you can align with prosperity. You can just use positivity. You can visualize, manifest, uh, tap into the quantum field, right? By making sure that you're in alignment with your objective, with your goal, there's no time and space in the fifth dimension and it happens immediately. So for example, rather than, you know, wake up and be like, what is today the day I'm getting the promotion? Am I finally going to get this promotion? When's it going to happen? Third dimension. You can visualize already have gotten the promotion. Matter of fact, visualize like it's been 10 years since you got the promotion and now you're actually looking to look for a new job. And by allowing and letting go and feeling as if you already have, now you no longer are waiting for something and that's the law of attraction. That's how you get exactly what you're looking for immediately. Now you got the Queen of Cups and you also have the Ace of Cups. So right now your angels and guides are bringing some sort of empathic awareness into your life, right? You're going to be able to feel instinctually, instinctively what to do next. And right now, source is telling you that your vibrations speak louder than your words. This means go off how you feel. Your instincts are telling you to do something. The universe gave you instincts for a reason. They're going to be able to give you like a form of an image or a feeling, like an aha moment, a download, a beautiful clarity, you know, a clear and concise image of what you're looking for. And the universe always rewards clarity of intention, right? So for example, if your instincts are telling you to eat something, eat it. If the logical mind comes and says, and don't eat it for the following reasons why, oh, we saw someone on social media who ate the same thing, it didn't work. Don't listen to it, okay? Do not listen to this. This is the number one mistake people make in their lives, listening to other people. Listen to your instincts. Why did God, creator, source, any name you want to give it, why would it give every single living creature on this planet instincts? Why? The gazelle sensed danger and ran. The monkey sensed danger and didn't eat the blueberries. Why is that? Because it knew it, that the animals need to go off these instincts. It's like the warning sign from the universe to save yourself. Why would you not use it? Why would you possibly not listen to your instincts and listen to someone else? It's influence and brainwashing. You do not want anything to do with that. If you want to be successful, if you want to meet your soulmate, you want to get rich, listen to your instincts. So I'll give you an example. Your instincts might say, go grab a coffee from Starbucks. Now, your logical mind might say, no, don't grab a coffee from Starbucks. But if you went and listened to your instincts, maybe you would have met Romeo there. You never know. Now, you got unity, grace, luck, and what? Beauty. Beautiful. Right now, poise and grace. This is your strength. This is your really strength. Simplicity is the, is the key to the tranquil life, and the simplicity is found in strength. And right now, source is telling you that your poise, your grace, this is what makes you attractive. This is what makes you likable, approachable. This is your secret sauce, your superpower. This is how abundance will flow to your grateful heart. Remember, be your genuine, authentic self. Do what you truly want. And this is what your angels and guys want you to focus on. So right now, if I was you, I would be focusing on making sure that I'm doing the things I love. I would be making sure that I am almost like being my genuine, authentic self. So I would wear the clothes that I want to wear. I would watch the shows that I want to watch. I would do my nails the way I want to do my nails. You know what I mean? I would just be my genuine, authentic self and handsomely be rewarded for this. And right now you have the empress and the fool letting you know that there is a path that you're going to go down. And right now this path is going to be an abundant path. You're going to be showered with gifts. The universe is waiting to gift you your desires. And right now your source is telling you that your life is a reflection of your thoughts. 
So your thoughts are going to determine how you feel and how you feel determines how, you know, what the universe reshapes itself to your beliefs, right? Remember, this whole thing is made out of Adrinka codes, right? Planet Earth is made out of a simulation theory. It doesn't mean that it's real or fake. What it really means is you are co-creator with spirit and you can get exactly what you're looking for. So right now, if I was you, the only thing that matters is making sure that your focus and your awareness is on getting what you want and not what you don't want. And now, right now, you do that by envisioning, you know, the future that you're looking for before it actually manifests. So it is so important for you to not, you know, force your reality, but take possession of it. And you take possession of your reality by not trying to make something happen, but instead letting it happen organically. Now, you got the Death card and the Knight of Wands. And right now, Source is telling you to close the chapter on hesitation, procrastination, and instead pick up the inspired action handle, right? And this is letting you know right now, you do this by practicing self-discipline and not regret. So for example, imagine you're like, I want to start a business, but I don't know where to start. I want to find my soulmate. I don't know where to go, right? All you have to do is tell yourself, I am done with trying to be perfect. And instead, I want progress. Because if you're looking for progress and not perfection, you're not worried about, you know, starting a business and failing. You're not worried about rejection and someone saying no, right? Progress, that's the key word. So for example, I tell myself, if only I am lucky to be wrong. Because if I'm wrong, that means that something better is out there. So for example, imagine you came up to me and you said, hey Vince, you know how you put on your shirt like this? If you actually put on your shirt like this, it's better. I would be like, whoa, you're absolutely right. I am so grateful that I was wrong because now putting on my shirt like this is better. It's easier. Do you see where I'm going with this? Same thing with life. If someone's like doing your business like this is better, I'm going to be like, fantastic. Thanks for telling me, right? It's not going to hurt my ego. I'm not going to be upset that I wasn't perfect. None of this stuff, right? I'm going to make sure that I go with the flow and I let abundance come to me. Now you got luck and unity. Right now, source is telling you that you're, you're, vibing in a high vibration, right? High frequency. And that's why people are going to magnetically be drawn to you. And a lot of good things will be coming to you very, very soon here. So right now, acknowledge and, and, and embrace this, welcome this. Understand that you have a lot to bring to the table. It's important that you know what you, you know, what you bring to the table. Like you got to love yourself before others will love you. Basically, when you meet some strangers, you're saying, hi there, your life is better if you, if, if I'm in it, basically. So you got to know what you bring to the table. You bring your kindness, you bring your poise, your grace, your happiness, your vibration, your frequency, your energy to the table. And that energy is the winning hand. And right now through the magician and the world, source is telling you that, you know, the world is your oyster really with this possibility, with this outlook. Now your problems turn into possibilities. Now your problems turn into solutions. And now, you know, you are becoming the cause and effect and your life will be effortless because of this rather than efforted. So it's like, focus on what you want. Let the universe, allow the universe to do its job, which is bring you abundance. Really let go to receive and listen to your instincts and intuition because it is always the right answer. All right, Sags, now let's get some money and some love into your life. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section. And as you write this down, quantum entangle with this energy, breathe life into this by feeling the words. Feeling is the secret. All right, so look at this. This goes hand in hand with this, exactly what we talked about, not, you know, trying to be perfect, but progress. Your affirmation for today is, I learn the way on the way. Write this down in the comment section. I learn the way on the way. This is you acknowledging that you are not waiting for perfection, but instead progress. I learned the way on the way. Write that down, give this video a like, and let the universe know that you are ready. All right, final message from your spirit guides. Let's see what the final message is. Final message is change is always good. Yes, this is, this is a breath of fresh air. Right now, actually, the only effective way of changing another person is by changing yourself. Works every time, guaranteed. What does this mean? Life is a mirror and not a window, right? So when you see someone and for whatever reason they upset you in some way, you got to understand that there's something there. There's something that's deeper than, you know, what you're looking at. So you got to ask yourself, what is going on here? You know, why, you know, for example, when someone doesn't show you kindness, that's really because they're looking at you like a mirror and they're seeing something that they wish they had or they, they were. And they're kind of, rather than lift, lift themselves up, they're trying to take you down, crap in a bucket, right? So right now your angels and guides are telling you, don't worry about, you know, whether or not the love is reciprocated. 
Only focus on yourself. Shine so bright that you lead by example, and that is the only offering you need to present to the universe. All right, Sagittarius, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.